It's no secret that over the last few years, a lot of things have switched to being online. Stores and shops, meetings, classes. And though it may be overwhelming, the good news is that it is possible to create, do, or sell pretty much anything online. And there's only really one thing that you need a website. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to build a website for free in less than 10 minutes. I did a video similar to this almost three years ago, and I had hundreds of people in the comments telling me how helpful it was that they didn't know it was this easy to make a website. And I myself am actually in need of a new website where people can access my free digital products. So I figured I would make that and just take you guys right along with me. Thank you to Logitech for sponsoring today's video and helping me help you guys out. After watching this, I promise you'll be prepared to easily make your own website and conquer the online world. Let's go. So the very first step to building your own site is to click the link in my description box and create a free account. So it'll bring you to the sign up page here. And like I said, it's absolutely free, no credit card required. There are certain paid features that you can have on your website, such as the appointment booking tool, just for example. You can upgrade to a paid plan, which I'll talk about later. But for now, we're sticking with the free account. Once you've made an account, it'll take you to this page where you're just gonna click on create new site. Once you click on that, it'll take you to a new tab where you will answer a couple questions so that the Wix artificial design intelligence can kind of get to know the type of website you're looking to create. So the first question, what kind of website are you creating? I'm gonna put online store for this one because I'm looking to basically post free digital products, maybe sell some products in the future if I start doing that. But let's say for example, you wanna have online courses or you're a teacher, you can literally type course and all of these options will show up. I'm just, again, gonna start with online shop, click next. And then it's gonna ask, what do you want to add to your website? So again, these are all these features and things that you can find later, but Wix is trying to make your life easier by plugging and playing for you so that you don't have to do a ton of work. So for now, I'm not really sure what I want and I don't wanna overwhelm myself, so I'm actually just gonna uncheck this. I know that I want the online store. I don't need chat or forms or forum, even though that could be cool in the future. And then here are some other things. I think that I'm gonna want an Instagram feed, maybe a blog, but again, for now, probably not. But you can get all sorts of other things. Food orders, if you're a food business, things like that. And then I'm gonna push next. All right, before we get to this next step, speaking of everything being online these days, if you're looking to upgrade your workspace at home, I wanna show you my latest desk setup and some products that I think you will love. As always, I'm using my Logitech MX Anywhere 3 wireless mouse. I literally take this thing everywhere that I go and it allows me the freedom to just feel more productive and be more creative even when I'm somewhere else other than my home desk, which is super nice. I literally have another one in my drawer because I'm not into this. <laughs> okay. And then we have the newest member of my collection, the MX Keys Mini wireless keyboard. It is so sleek. Oops. Before I was using the K380 keyboard on the go because it's light and easy to carry around. But the MX Keys Mini is just a little sleeker and so perfect for my at-home setup. So that's my new little baby right here. It has really useful features too. My favorite being the smart illumination. So snazzy. And these smart keys. Oh my gosh, you guys. Now with one button, I can easily access the emoji keyboard, something I definitely struggled with before. And I can mute or unmute myself while on meetings with literally the click of a button. So convenient. These products are so versatile. With the click of a button, I can switch between any three devices, which makes my life so, so easy. Again, sometimes I'm using my iPad, laptop, and I can literally just just push a button and switch between them, which is so nice. I'll link all these products down below. They're so high quality and very reasonably priced. And the products have truly transformed the way that I work. So if you're looking to upgrade your workspace, then I definitely recommend check them out down below. And let's get back into the website building. All right, so here is the fun part. Basically, you have two options here. You can either let the Wix artificial design intelligence create a website for you. It's very plug and play. If you click on that, you can just answer a series of questions and it'll pretty much create a website for you. The other option, if you don't wanna go that way, is to just create your website with the editor. You start with a template and you customize it however you want. So to be clear, you can still customize the website if you have Wix make it for you. But the other option is very intuitive and easy to follow as well. Lots of dragging and dropping. So you don't need to be intimidated by creating your website with the editor. So I'll click on the Wix ADI for a second to just show you. You literally would type in the name of your store. So mine would just be my name. And then if you even have another website where you have images and text that you wanna import, you could put it right here. I do not, so I'm not going to. Here you can add your logo, address, all of those things. I'm just gonna add a profile picture and I don't really have anything else that I wanna show. You can add your social links, so let's just pretend, boom. 
boom, next. You would pick a theme that you like. Let's just click on this one. And then it asks you if you wanna create a color palette from your logo, that could be really handy. If you have a logo with color, I don't really, so I'm gonna skip that. And from there, it has you pick from three separate themes. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this middle one. I think I like that the most. Oh, but that one's cool too. I like that they're minimal. Maybe I do like this one the most. Use this design. Once you click on that, it'll allow you to add different pages to your design. If you know that you want an About Us page, an FAQ, store policies, testimonials. And again, these will be custom to whatever website you have. If you wanted to do online courses, these would look a little bit different, these options. So here we go. It will put the final touches on my site. And of course, from here, I can just edit it as I please. I just wanted to show you that, but we are not gonna spend much time over here because I'm just gonna show you how to build your own from scratch in less than 10 minutes. So we're gonna go back, delete this, but if you wanna use that, it's there. All right, so we're back to this page. This time I'm gonna click on edit a template. Okay, so here we get to pick a website template that we love. So as you can see, there's all these different categories. So you can basically choose whatever it is that you're creating. Ooh, that's actually awesome. They have so many options now. They have so many more options since the last time I made a video. Here we can kind of scroll through all of the different templates. I'm definitely gonna go for a really simple minimal look. But as you can see, there's so many different ones. And if you click on view, you can really get a feel for what this could look like. So of course, anything can be changed, colors, fonts, things like that. This one already looks really cool, nice and simple. Products right here. Wow. And then here, if you click on the mobile button, very easy way for you to just see what it would look like on a phone. So I think I actually am going to use this one, the accessory stores template. Here it opens right up to this page. So everything, like I said, is very intuitive. Click around and you will notice that you can change things very easily. Change the background here. It has tons of different colors and images that you can choose from. This menu will be your little safe haven. So this is the add button. You can add a number of things, basically anything you want to this site, text, images, buttons, and look how many different options they have. Galleries if you want photos, decorative little elements, interactive elements, boxes, lists, which they have just so many cute customizable options. You can add YouTube videos, you can add a playlist. They have different kind of menu looks, which are really cool, social icons, and you know, pretty much anything you want. So like, let's say I wanted this, you literally just click it and drag it onto the site, and there it is. Change the strip background, that would allow you to change the photo that's in the back. So let's just pretend we wanted this photo. Boom, it's that easy. So this is your like, all encompassing. If you want to add anything new that's not already part of the template, you would click on this. The next is menus and pages. So here's where you actually see all the pages that you have on your website. So obviously you have the home page, which is this whole thing, whatever is going to be on that very first page. And then you can basically customize these to be whatever you want. As you can notice, our top navigation have these things. I don't really need any of these. So I'm just going to click the three dots and then click on hide. And then we have hidden pages. You can ignore these they're pages that can be navigated to when clicking through the site but they aren't part of the navigation bar if you want something to be part of the nav bar click the three dots and then unhide it if you want to add a page you can do so right here you can list the services that you offer you can add a projects page for kind of a portfolio feel anything like that wix stores is an app that you can add where that is what allows you to actually have e-commerce embedded into your website so if you want people to be able to buy things from your actual site you would use wix stores these were automatically put on my site because I chose an online store template. But again, using Wix stores does require upgrading to a paid plan. So I don't actually think I'm gonna use this for this site. And same with Wix members area. That is an app that you can use if you have memberships, subscriptions, things like that. If you click on the site design button, this is where you can alter your theme, color, and text your page background and any page transitions. So we just have a white background, but as you can see, you could have literally anything. You could have an image, you could have just a color, and it'll show you the ones that kind of go well with the theme. So that's pretty cool. I'm just gonna keep mine on the white. If you click on this, this is the apps button. So this is where Wix has a lot of things that you can add to your site. Some are free, some are paid. There are so many different things here, including all of these business solutions. I've used these in the past 
So again, Wix stores, if you wanna be selling things online, Wix bookings, I've also used that, super awesome. It's a scheduling platform, so you can customize that however you want. And then we have basically just a whole lot of other things that you can have. For now, I'm not gonna do any of those, but you can take a look if you need anything. Then we have the media button. This allows you to upload any of your own media. It also allows you to edit photos and videos in Wix. But most importantly, they have so many options for free images that you can use. You can basically search anything that you want, laptop, and there will be plenty of free images that you can use from either Wix, Shutterstock, or Unsplash, and they don't cost any money. You can also favorite different things. So if you just click on this little tag, it'll show up in your favorites board right there so that it's easy to just drag and drop into future sites or this site. Then we have this blogging button, my store. So again, and if you want the store function and business tools, which we're not gonna get into this in this video, but they have so many SEO tools that'll drive traffic to your website without you really having to do anything. It's very automated and super smart. Okay, but back to the actual page. So we're gonna get back to the home page. Boom. And I'm just gonna edit this around a little bit and I'll come back and show you what I've done. All right, it is a little bit later now, and as you saw, I was messing around with the site. Like I said, I'm keeping it pretty simple right now, and I'll play around later and see if I wanna add any more of the paid features. But for now, this is what I came up with. I think it took me legitimately like seven minutes to make this site because I used images that were already there. I uploaded this one image of my own. So let's go ahead and preview what it looks like. So here is what the final site looks like. As you can tell, I have an ad at the top because I haven't upgraded to a different plan, and I honestly don't think I'm going to. I literally just changed all the text up here to reflect my own information and my links to my own social media. And then if you scroll down, this is the home page. I have some buttons right here that navigate to these other pages I'll show you in a second. And then I actually added a little merch store thing, but really this is just a gallery slider of photos, but I set each photo's link to go to the merch store, which is super cool. So it's like a built-in kind of redirection. I just added this photo and I just added text and these were like little images you could drag and drop. And that's really it on the home page. So if I click here, these are each of the pages that actually hold the wallpaper. I was trying to find a workaround so that I didn't need to have the Wix stores app on here. And what I decided to do was just add each of my wallpapers as an individual photo with text right here. This was actually a template, this whole thing right here. So I didn't do any of this. I just changed what it said. If you click it, I just had it link to a Google Drive download that anybody can access. So this is kind of a workaround if you have free content that you want people to be able to download Download without having to have a store. Obviously, if you want people to pay for it, you're gonna have to have the e-commerce plugin. So this is the iPhone wallpaper, and then we have iPad wallpaper, same exact thing, except there aren't as many. And then I don't have any laptop wallpaper yet, but I literally just duplicated this page three times and legitimately made this so quickly. So of course, actually plugging in all the images and making sure they link properly takes a little bit more time than 10 minutes, but honestly, this whole entire thing took me not even 20. So it it really went fast and I think it's super cute, super simple. I really don't need a lot on here. Anyway, hope you like it. We do wanna go back to the editor and make sure that the mobile version looks good. That's the last step before hitting publish. So you wanna click on switch to mobile right here. So then if you go over to the side, it's the exact same as the normal desktop version, but for mobile, so you can see the menus and pages. So now that you've designed your website to be what you want, you can always add more later, don't even worry about it. But the next step is to actually hit publish. So we're gonna click publish right here. And then your site is literally online already. It has a certain domain that they give you. If you do want to have a custom domain, you need to upgrade your plan. But if you do buy a custom domain and you don't wanna upgrade this, I believe you can just do domain forwarding where if somebody types your custom domain into the address bar, it'll forward and redirect them to this site. All right, you guys, so that's it for this video. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them down below because I know I couldn't cover everything in this video, but I hope it gave you at least a really good 
start and a good idea as to how to make a very simple, solid, professional looking website in under 10 minutes. Click the link in my description to get started for free. And thanks again so much to Logitech for sponsoring today's video. If you wanna check out their products, the MX Master Series is so awesome. I have so many of their products and use them all the time. So I will link all those down below as well. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.